is a full tutorial on how to set up MetaMask for use with Zero Exchange. MetaMask is an Ethereum based web wallet which has been adapted for use with the Avalanche network. All of the information in this video, such as the contact addresses and the custom RPC settings for MetaMask, are in the video description below. They're also available on the Zero Exchange website. To download MetaMask, head to metamask.io, click download, and install. This will add it as an extension to your browser. The process of setting up MetaMask is incredibly simple and intuitive. So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you had already completed the process and move on as if you have. Once you've completed the initial setup of MetaMask and you've backed up your seed phrase, log into MetaMask and click here to expand the view. Now we're going to configure MetaMask to connect to the Avalanche network. To begin, click here to open a list of networks and select custom RPC. Next, copy and paste the RPC settings. As mentioned previously, the RPC settings can be found both on Zero Exchange's website, which I have loaded up on the left hand side in one of their blogs, and they can also be found in the video description below. Please make sure to copy and paste to avoid making any mistakes. Once done, click save. Metamask is now connected to the Avalanche mainnet C chain. The next step is an extremely important one, and you have to do this every single time you switch networks between Ethereum and Avalanche. And the reason for it is quite simply because MetaMask is an Ethereum application that has been adapted for use on the Avalanche blockchain. And when switching networks, it can misread some of the nonce values unless you reset your account. To do that, click the circle up here, go to a settings, and then click on advanced, reset account. A warning will pop up, just letting you know that you're not going to have to log back in. And all it does is clear transaction history. Click reset. You are now ready to use MetaMask with Zero. To connect, simply click connect to a wallet and then select MetaMask. You'll notice that the default network has now shifted from Ethereum to Avalanche. Up here, it used to say Ethereum, whereas you are now connected to Avalanche. And because you've reset your wallet, you can begin to make swaps on the Avalanche network and you can also view the liquidity pools on the Avalanche side. Finally, to finish configuring your MetaMask wallet, we need to add the custom token codes. A full list of token codes can be found at zero and in the video description below. To begin, open MetaMask and scroll down to add token. Click it and then click on custom token. You can then proceed to copy and paste the token codes. The other fields such as the token symbol and decimal places will autofill. Click next and then add the token. Please note that in order to make transactions on the Avalanche blockchain, you will need to hold some AVAX, which is the native currency of the Avalanche network and is used to facilitate trades by paying the transaction fees, also known as the gas costs. Zero is planning to introduce a fiat gateway soon. So once that's in place, you should be able to make purchases using credit and debit cards. And in the meantime, Check out the next video which covers how to get AVAX from a centralized exchange such as Binance and get that onto your MetaMask in order to use it with Zero. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.